she'd be fine. It's just a bit of a bug. Can I say good night? Oh, actually, she's asleep, which is where you should be. Have you seen the time? Now you go on up, my love. I'll see you in the morning. Okay. Good night, love. Good night, Dad. See you in the morning. Say good night to Mum for me. I will. and wishing I could give you a cuddle, do you know? Did you? I did, love. Hundreds and hundreds of times. Hundreds and hundreds of times. Oh my God, no, what's happened? Are you all right? Drink, sweetheart. You should have something. He's coming down. I'll take her into the extension. I'm all right. Come on, Rachel. God, it's a bloody boring place, this, isn't it? Want a breakfast? Since when have I ever eaten breakfast, my darling? Where are the girls? They're in the extension, playing something, I think. Best she'll be doing revision. It's important she gets good grades in these air levels. She's working hard, or trying to. And what's that supposed to mean, my sweet? Nothing. You're a good woman, Mandy, and a good mother. But I don't want Beth failing these exams. And it's very important that you don't distract her with your lies or wittering on about this and that. Do you hear? Hello, my darling. I was just saying to your mother about the importance of your passing your exams. Were you? I'll do all right. See that? All the confidence of the Jordashes. I gotta get out for a bit, just to clear my head. Have you got a few bob you could lend us? That's what I have. Well, that's not gonna buy very much, is it? Yeah. Take this. No, no, darling, I can't. Take it. 
please? Please? Well, things are improving. Thanks. I'll see you later. Once quiet, Mum. Okay, I'll uh, think of somewhere. I want to go out soon. Now, I want to be out. Sit down a minute. Please. Look. Whatever. Whatever happened last night, I want you to know it wasn't your fault. What are you talking about? It wasn't your fault. What's well, not my fault? I haven't done anything. We know you haven't. Your dad last night. He's got nothing to do with you. He's my dad and I love him. And I don't want him to go away. He won't do anything more to you. I'm sorry I wasn't there to stop him. He didn't do anything. He's my dad. Rachel, listen. I know what happened, because he did the same to me before he went to prison. But you've got to understand, none of it's your fault. I didn't want him to be like that. I trusted him. He said he needed a cuddle. Oh, shit. Now, don't you worry. Mommy won't let him touch you again. Hi, love. Uh, I've just come round for the money for the garden stuff. You know the weed killing man. If you've got it, mate. Oh, I'll just go and get it for you. It's on the side there. Right. How's your mum? Fine. It's just that, well, I came round the other night and there was a bit of a commotion, you know. I didn't know oh. whether to know. Oh, uh, it was nothing. <laughs> See you again. See you. miserable about. We're okay. Where did you get to? You know, that colour really doesn't suit you. You used to be bright and cheerful. You need to liven up. Clothes say a lot about a person, you know. Vitality. But all this dark stuff. I wear dark because my mood is dark. And who can blame me? And what's that supposed to mean? Beth, your father's tired. Who bloody told you I was tired? I can speak for myself, thanks. She's only trying to keep the peace. Again? Keep the peace. You'd make a saint lose his patience. Papa, please don't get upset. You know, I wonder sometimes what you've been saying to her. It wasn't always like this, you know. We used to have happy times. All those holidays away together. Playing as a family. And look at it now. Bloody people trying to tell me what to do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you're right. I am tired. I'll go and lie down. Mandy, love, it would be nice if you could follow me up. Give me a bit of comfort.
I'm sorry, Beth. For what? For letting him back in, for... Oh, I don't know. I can take the beatings, but I can't bear the thought of you and Rachel suffering again. Don't say that. You mustn't say you can take the beatings, ever. You can't accept what he's wanting to dole out. What he sees fit. We've got to stay strong for Rachel's sake. We said we'd make sure that he never touched her again. And how? Contact the Shackletons, call the police. Oh. So the white flag's up, is it? Yeah, no, no, of course not. I feel useless. He'll find us again if we move, and I just feel as if nobody can protect us from him. So? So we get rid of him forever. No, I shouldn't have said that. But you're right, Mum. It's the only way. It won't be that simple. It's the only way, Mum. Beth, do you understand what I'm saying here? Yeah. We're talking about taking control of our own lives and protecting Rachel's. I won't expect you to have anything to do with it. <laughs> but you can't do it on your own. <laughs> We've got to look at it as though... as though we're putting a beast down. It won't be that easy. Oh, my God, what are we saying? We're talking about killing someone. It's either him or us.